As a software engineer in Nigeria, you can earn as much as $3,000 to $4,000 a month depending on your level of experience. My name is Grace Frank. I am a software engineer. I currently work at AfriX. My journey into tech started about three years ago when I made up my mind that I wanted to be into this tech. I wanted to get into tech. As of then, I was a dealer in Zaria and I was also doing my master's. And I had applied to several jobs with my master's in view. Sometimes I even say I already have my master's. But I never really got any job interviews or like anyone, I never really got any feedback. So I was like, what's really the point? And I said, decided that, okay, let me see how I can get into tech. I started doing my research, eventually got a course online for web development. And after a while, I decided to join a coding bootcamp. So, you know, to help me kickstart my career into tech. So after I finished the coding bootcamp, I got a, an internship role in a marketing and analytics company in Lagos here. And that was really where my um, career kick-started. So after then, I worked in a fintech, a top fintech in Nigeria, and I just it just kept growing. Um, I think one of the major the major challenges I had was not knowing where to start or how to get into the um, industry. And so I started doing my research, bought a course online that helped, and eventually joined the bootcamp. Um, so tech, I mean, there are many fields in tech, but I was doing software engineering. Um, it wasn't really easy because it was something different from like general knowledge that you're used to. So it required me to spend a lot of time learning, studying, and actually building products that um, will help me get my first job in tech. Also, I had to do a lot of preparations for like, you know, interviews because you need to impress the interviewer. So getting my first role too was not so easy. I really had to work on projects to show the companies I was interviewing that I had the skill that they were looking for and do a lot of preparations as well. And then, uh, yeah, I also needed to get like a mentor that would, you know, guide me as to what I need to know that would help me, I mean, succeed in the industry or wherever I decide to work as well. I think anybody who is interested and who really wants to do this thing can get into tech. You know how to use your phone, you know how to use the internet, you have maybe a PC, you have a PC. Some people don't even have PC and they even get started. So basically it's the interest and your determination to learn. Like like every other skill, like when I was a tailor, I had to learn. And I knew people that when they started learning, they, they dropped out and decided this is not what they want to do. So you need to have that, you know, perseverance that, okay, I want to do this, I want to learn. It might not be easy at first, but eventually it becomes easier. And when you start getting more opportunities, you feel like, oh, it is really worth it. But you really need to have that interest and determination to learn. You need to persevere like when you are learning because you definitely face some challenges. But you just you need to have that in mind when you are um, trying to learn. I know people, I have a friend in my um, last company, um, a, a top fintech in Nigeria, Interswitch. He studies zoology and he's a senior software engineer there. I also know of another friend of mine who studied CRS also. And he, he works for Access Bank. Oh, he works for Access Bank and as a software engineer. And I also have another friend who didn't even go to the university. Like he's not a university graduate and he has jobs at a software engineer so it's really like your interest and how much you're willing to how much work you're willing to put in um i guess the major benefit is the high paying salaries in tech as i mentioned as a software engineer you can earn as much as three to four thousand dollars depending on your level of experience when i first started my career my first internship role um that was just an internship i was just an intern my salary was about 150000 That was like just as an intern. Moving forward, I'm earning like over six times more than what I was earning at that time. And yeah, so apart from the salaries, there are so many jobs, like there are lots and lots of jobs. I mean, for tech, like so many. You, like right now, I'm the one that chooses the kind of job that I want to do. I mentioned earlier that I had been interviewing for many jobs and I never really got any anybody call me back. But right now, because I have built my skills, I'm in the tech, I mean, I have tech skills. I even have companies reaching out to me and I get to choose 
which company I want to work for based on my own personal criteria. I'm no longer at the mercy of employers. And if I feel like I don't really like the working environment, I can decide to, <laughs> I can decide to leave, you know? So there are so many job opportunities, both in Nigeria and internationally. So um, I have a couple of friends, a few friends though. I have some friends that have relocated, like left the country to Germany because they got job opportunities that offered them relocation. So I have one in Germany, one in the UK, and another of my friend that is looking to relocate to Greece. So there are like so many opportunities internationally. Um, what else can I say? With tech, you can never start your own company easily. You can also start your own company, employ people. Like the possibilities are like limitless. And it's not just, you don't have to be a software engineer. There are also other opportunities. Data analytics, um, UI, UX. Just do your research and know what you want to do in tech. Well, if you're looking to start out your career in tech, sometimes it can be really confusing, like where to start, what you want to do. So the first thing I would advise anyone to do is try to research or like if you have a phone, use Google, find out what kind of jobs exist in tech and just try to learn about those jobs and decide what you want to pursue. Do you want to be a software engineer? Do you want to be a data analyst, do you want to be a UI UX engineer, whatever you want to do, just make up your mind. Because I've noticed that one thing that confuses people is trying to learn so many things at the same time and not knowing where to start. So once you do your research and you've made up your mind, okay, I want to be a software engineer, I want to be whatever you decide. Then you start looking at how you can you start doing your research on how to learn those skills. So you can, so most times you can actually learn on your own or you can decide to go to a a school or a boot camp. There are many, there are many schools or boot camps online and even physical that you can attend. So basically, just do your research. So when you start learning, um, when you start learning or building your skills, you need to have um, projects that you work on to build your experience or to give you more knowledge. Because you know, just learning, I think, just learning and learning and not practicing what you learn. It's not going to get you anywhere. You're just going to be like a university graduate, you know, the way that our Nigerian schools are. So you learn, you build stuff, you um, you practice so that you can gain your experience. And also so that you can have something that you show your employer. Because the reason why you're learning is so that you can get a job or maybe start something on your own. So by the time you get your skills and you're done learning, you already have some projects that you can show off when you, when you want to interview with companies. So, by the time I'm saying, okay, I am a software engineer, I have skills, I have these skills. How do the companies know that you actually have those skills? It's from what you show them that, okay, look at what I've done, look at what I've done. These are the people that are using it. And then they know that, okay, he actually does have skills so we can employ him. So another thing that really helped me is having a mentor. Sometimes um, you may be learning stuff on your own, but you need someone to tell you, this is actually the best way to do it. Because there are many ways to, okay, like for instance, say you're a chef. There are many ways to cook soup. But if you get to learn from someone who has been cooking, maybe for thousands of people, he can tell you, oh, this is, if you use this thing to cook your soup, or if they'll give you inside tips that will really help you um, grow and take it to the next level. So having mentors is really important. And then don't just say, okay, now I have tech skills. Um, so I can stop here. You have to keep learning. If you don't like learning new things, you don't like growing or advancing, I don't think you can do tech. You have to continue learning because every day technology advances, new ideas, new things come up. So you just have to keep learning to keep yourself, to just be abreast with whatever is happening in industry and to stay relevant. So yeah, I think um, that is the advice I would give anybody who is looking to learn tech. I should also know that um, anybody can do this, you can do it. You shall just you shall <laughs> you shall need to put your mind to it. You need to be dedicated and determined that this is what you want to do. And I just have to say, it's not going to be completely rosy, just like you know, the way we are saying there'll be some difficult times. You run into problems, and that's where you, your mentors come in. So when you have some challenges that you do not know how to solve on your own, then your mentor can guide you. Okay, this is how you can go about it. So yeah, I guess. That would be my advice for anyone who wants to join, who wants to get into tech. 
of course i can mentor people i have a few friends who i have mentored and have started their their career in tech their learning and i'm actually open to mentoring more people who are willing especially women <laughs> so far it has really been great i feel like my life has changed compared to then to two three years ago before i joined tech my standard of living is also higher as well and generally i feel more satisfaction with my life and my career my name is grace frank and this is my tech story